Listen, listen, hold on. So explain to me how you think that Lord Stephen, I'm sorry Stephen to use you as an example, but I want to use it as an example, okay? How do you think that Lord Stephen Christ is mentally ill? Because I've sat in, I've sat in Lord Stephen Christ's show for many hours. A person can be far-fetched and be kind of out of this world without suffering from mental illness, okay? Somebody could actually open and expand their mind and ask questions that other people would not ask about the reality of this world and not have mental issues, okay? Some people's brains actually work on a different level and are actually expanding to a point where they're thinking about things that you don't even fucking think about ever in your entire life, okay? You came out of your mom, you eat food, you shit in a bowl, you go to bed, you go to work, you spend money on cigarettes. You think that's what life is all about, dude? Honestly? You know what life is all about? It's all about thinking about what life is all about, okay? I don't even know if Steven's still in the room. What I'm just saying is, like, you have to expand your mind, man. I'm not saying use psychedelic drugs, but if you have not gone out there and expanded your mind in a non-narcotic fashion and read books, experienced the arts, gone on a roller coaster, went skydiving, had sex with three chicks in a bar, fuck! You need to experience life before you come to us and say that we're crazy, dude, because you know, all it says is you haven't experienced life yet, man. You live such a sad existence that you came out of your mother and you're still trying for the entirety of your life to get back inside of a vagina. Exactly. Dude, there's more to this world <laughs> than impressing vagina, okay? There's more in this life than paying your insurance bill on your piece of shit topaz. You need to fucking step off your high horse and relax. Okay. Great. Chill the fuck out sometimes, man. It's Honestly, great. you take things way too seriously. You're getting gray hair over numbers on a screen, dude. Seriously. Hey, man. I'm wasting my life talking to you guys about this kind of stuff. And I enjoy it. Because I'm entertaining myself while at the same time I'm entertaining you. Think of it right now, dude. It's like 11 o'clock at night, okay? What could you possibly be doing right now that is more important than hanging out here? Nah. I don't think I'm above you. That's the thing. I'm a humble person. I don't think that I'm above anybody. That's where you got me wrong, okay? You think that I'm better than you? You actually think that I think that I'm better than you, dude? Here's the problem, okay? You present yourself as a lower being than me. You do not, like, come at me and I have to chop you down, dude. Exactly. Like, honestly, like, you're always jumping up at my ankles. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, the characters <laughs> on this website, like, okay, uh, the Hippers and the Angelas and what's that fucking weird guy's face? Uh, okay, America's Third Party. Look at these guys. These guys are actually just as important as your Tom Cruise is, as your friggin' other celebrities, because you know why? You take the time out of your life, and you get that email, and you spend ungodly amounts of hours sitting in front of that dude's face while he talks absolute nonsense. <laughs> and then you have to come in here and have the nerve to say that somebody's actually giving you some sort of, like, the 411 on it. And I'm not trying to sit here and tell you, like, the whole gist of everything. I'm just trying to say like you can find fun in a lot of things. You don't got to be so serious in life. <laughs> That's Shawnee. I'll tell him like it is. Stick it up for me. Got some I know that probably there. made absolutely no sense. Trolls are like little chihuahua it, dogs trying to bite my ankles. That was totally absolute nonsense. But I'm just saying, You're already man, below like, me. the reason why a lot of you guys get so frustrated is because you just take everything so seriously. If I was to say to you, I fucked your mom last night, you would actually think that I may have had sex with your mother last night. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. You know how many things have been said to me? Do you have any, like, I get emails, okay, when it was like, I get personally threatening emails on everybody 
that I know. I get I get emails like you have no idea, okay? And I think it's just hilarious. There's no what? Okay, here's that. Remember the jealousy thing that I just talked about earlier? 019. It applies to you, dude. Here's the thing, okay, it's recess. So we all go outside, okay? And Billy has a bag of marbles. Billy happens to have a lot of cat's eye marbles. Now Tommy wants to play marbles with Billy, but Billy is like, I don't want your marbles, Tommy. You know, your marbles are shit. Why don't you go over there and piss off? So Tommy is like, you know what? I don't care if he doesn't want my marbles. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something better than that, man. I'm going to say that he's got broken marbles, man. Don't deal with that guy, man. He's crazy. He's going to steal your marbles, man. He's going to, oh, don't fucking, ah, he's playing marbles with a man. Oh, my God, don't do it. You know how stupid that sounds? Now apply that to, the, to this. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's time. It's time. with me, man. I know you've ghosted a couple times and you didn't really say anything. Uh... <laughs> By the way, hold on. Crazy Christ, thanks for hanging out with me, man. I know you've ghosted a couple times and you didn't really say anything. Uh, thank you for joining and participating in the show tonight. Can I say something to you, Stephen? You know what, Lord Stephen Christ? You know a lot of people say that you have narcissism or not? I don't see that in you, to be honest. I don't see you thinking that you're better than anybody else. Isn't that weird? I actually see, I actually see you, Stephen, as like somebody is like, just a person, okay, who has people that come to him, <clears throat> even though, you know, whatever, they, I'm not trying to say they think you're something else or not, I'm thinking that they feel just a little bit more comfortable to be able to come to you and talk to you about certain things. And Stephen, I've seen some of the way that you talk on your YouTube videos. I've seen the way you talk to some of your haters. But I've also seen the way that you talk to some of your people that actually come up to you randomly and say, you know what? You know, this was a good video, Stephen. Like, what you said was actually very, very important. We're not like, fucking, I see the way that you talk to people, man. And the reason why that I kind of respect you a little tiny bit away because... You have a million people coming at you, okay? You guys don't understand that I'm sure Steven has hundreds of weird people coming at him, giving him a million opportunities for him to be extra creepy weird, and he is not that kind of person that you guys all think that he is. You guys can create this facade and, you know, create all this evidence and create all this drama about him, but you're not fooling me and you're probably not fooling like 57% of the population on YouTube, okay? So I'm just saying to you, Stephen, I see, you know, so there's always been an auspicious connection between us because I've never had a problem with you. I've never kind of went out of my way to troll you, you know, in, in, in you know, a, a normal, or sorry, in a noob troll's mind, you're easily trollable, but you're very charismatic. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody would actually fall for you as opposed to attacking you so it's the same way with frank taylor when i met frank taylor i was like oh man i'm fucking on this guy man <laughs> and then i talked to frank taylor you know so i kind of see a nice person inside you steven as a, as opposed sorry keep it in the mic i don't think you're a bad person and i don't think whatever dude we all have our times okay like fucking <laughs> if i if i actually if all my History was put on live, Stephen. You would feel very comfortable, okay? So don't worry about it. I never got anything serious like what was going on there, but like, I've done some stuff. <laughs> I've had some opinions, okay? So I just never actually had a chance to have somebody record it, okay? So just don't <laughs> worry about it, right? I mean, I'm sure you're not worried about it. I'm sure you're way past all that. I'm just saying, like, all these jerk offs fucking. 
I've seen you being so stoic. I've seen them have things against you and attack you, and you were just like, shit up, boys, you know? So I respect that. And I'm not that wasted. Yeah, whatever. You make make sure you get my name fucking right. Shawnee Yo. <laughs> You're not that bad, Steven. Thanks, man. Now I think you're weird, but you're not that bad. You know, what can I say? <coughs> Don't be a dick, dude, because I'll give you a strike. If I see some bullshit editing editorial before that video, Steven, I'll give you a strike. Don't do it. But I'll let you. Oh, don't worry about it, man. I will live vicariously through you. Yes. If you let it play well, exactly actually, how it just played out. Vicariously through you, but yeah. <laughs> I know how you are sometimes, dude. I remember. <laughs> I see. What you, I, I was in Donnie Curry's show, and you fucking, you pulled out exactly what I would do, dude. You, you were me there that day. I remember that day. You were like, oh, you don't want to fucking. You were like, dude, can we have a conversation, with Donnie. And Donnie was like, yeah, all right, let's have a conversation. And you're like, well, what do you think about this? And Donnie's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And you're like, oh, I got gotcha. you. That's the first time I've seen you, Lord Cedar Christ, you little sneaky bugger. <laughs> I knew right away. I was like, oh, what is this guy up to? <laughs> I don't know, man. He got a life. <laughs>